what happens to our foam tire. Here we go, three. Good afternoon, Bugsters. Once again, you guys already know, duh, because you clicked on today's video. And once again, your boy Bug is coming through with another banger. I'm not joking when I say this. I'm pretty sure I am 99.99999% sure that this has not yet been done on YouTube. I know you guys have seen the title. I know you've seen the thumbnail. Now I just gotta make that all happen for your guys' entertainment, and I'm sure you're just as curious as I am if it'll work. Speaking of, do you guys actually think this will work, me putting that spray insulation foam on a 22 by 14 wheel and then driving on it with my 2011 lifted Dodge Ram Cummins? If you think it'll work, or if you don't think it'll work, go down below in the comment section and let me know right off the bat. Let's see how many of you are right and how many of you are wrong at the end of this video. Just like your boy said, we are jumping right in today's video. So do me a favor, scroll down, whether on your little mouse or on your phone, and smash like on today's video. If this video reaches 10,000 likes, I will take the same 22 by 14 wheel, put a tire on it, and I have a buddy that has a crane service. He said we can drop it from almost 300 feet straight to the ground. So if you guys want to see that, hit that like button, 10,000 likes, and we'll drop a wheel and tire 300 feet. It's starting to get hot outside, you guys. It's really important. The key to success is staying hydrated. Don't just drink soda all the time. That's bad for you. Go ahead, grab you a nice cold water and just make sure you're staying hydrated so that way you can just live a successful, happy life. Ah. Riken, come on, we gotta head to the local store. We gotta grab like a bunch of cans of that foam spray insulation I don't even know what it's called we got to go get a bunch of that we'll come back we'll mount the wheel on my truck we'll take off my current one we'll coat that wheel with that and it's gonna make it like its own little rubber foamy tire and we'll just who knows if this is gonna work or not see this is the 22 by 14 fuel wheel that we are going to be using in today's video now this one is smaller than the ones I have I have the 24 by 16 fuel cleavers again this is just a 22 by 14 but we are going to take off my current wheel on the rear mount this one and then take that foamy spray insulation stuff and coat the entire outside of this wheel making our own tire. To the store we go! Alright, well, as you can see, we're in the lumber, which is where I was told this was the foam spray, whatever, and I have not yet found it. So we're going to keep looking. Alright, everyone, this is what I was talking about. I guess the brand's great stuff no this is not a promotion or a plug this video is not sponsored by them um, but yeah it's just a big gap filler and it's that foamy stuff like you know, remember being a kid and you're in like a basement and you're like oh cotton candy hanging on the wall and you'd grab it and just chew on it but it wasn't cotton candy this is that stuff well we do have an entire 22 by 14 fuel wheel we got to cover I don't know how far this stuff goes, so we're just, we're gonna buy a bunch. We probably should've got a cart. Maybe, yeah, five. I'm thinking this should do enough. They're the bigger cans than the regular size. Um, if not, we can buy more. If we have extra, we can do it in other videos. All right. Let's see what the grand total is. Do you wish to continue? Of course I wish to continue. I'm not done. Six. 85. 685 a piece. In bag and area. Remove this item before continuing. This is why you never use self checkout. Please it never place ever works. In the bagging area. I'm pretty sure this is going to be enough. I'm not 100% sure though because I've never used this stuff nor sprayed it. Oh, this, this car's trying to park. Sorry. I feel bad. This is, I'm this idiot walking around in a parking lot. People are trying to park. I'm just filming. Hey, Kaden! Boys and girls, fellow Bucksters, it is now time to get the rear end of the truck in the air so we can pull this one off and put the new one on. The homie, the brother Hayden here, helping spray. We're just gonna, you know, double this down. It's we don't know what is going to happen. If you guys think this is going to work or you don't think it's going to work, go down below in the comment section and let me know. I'm 
50-50 right now. I kind of think it will, and then I kind of really don't think it will. So I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out. It's going to do like a zigzag pattern, uh, and then just do our best to fill this up. Like I said, we got five cans. Let's get it. This stuff is, you know, obviously going to take quite some time to dry, but we got a good portion of the wheel already, and then when this stuff hardens, it gets pretty hard, but we want it to kind of set up before we start to rotate the wheel and do the rest of it, that way it just doesn't come right off. But so far, that is two cans. I think this actually might work, you guys. This is about as fun as watching paint dry. Some A little bit of a breeze coming in. Then we just set up this fan to kind of help, but you can see it's still a little little jiggly. I rotated the wheel and this stuff is not going anywhere which means it's starting to set up and stick pretty well. So I'm going to carry on and keep covering as much of the wheel as I can. It's kind of like frosting a cake but it's not. No! No! A piece fell! Why? Oh my, this is taking forever. But don't worry, because we are getting a little closer, one step at a time. That is the only thing left we have to cover. I just did this section as you just seen. And then once I cover up this, I'm going to wrap this up tomorrow in the morning. I'm gonna let this sit for overnight because it takes quite a few hours to really get that full potential of dryness. And then when I come back in the morning and it's all dry, I'm gonna do an entire another layer all the way around it, let that dry, and then it is go time. This was the very first section that got on. And I have to say like, it's still not even all the way dry and it's pretty, pretty tough stuff. It's crazy how it works. I, you guys still, what do you think? Is it gonna work or is it gonna be a fail? Let me know. We are almost done with the first layer. Check this out. This is so exciting because this takes so much time. Now I know why no one has ever done this yet. You get that? Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm just, you know, working on this, and people are out there doing burnouts. You know, that's what that's what happens when you hang around the shop, though. We are now three cans, completely empty. Still have two full ones, and the wheel is completely covered which means I'm gonna let it sit and dry in the shop all night tonight. We'll come back in the morning. We'll do one more layer all the way around, and then that's it. So I'm gonna stop the vlog here. I will catch you guys in the morning. Stay tuned. What is up, everyone? It is now day two of this vlog. I came back this morning, and the foam is finally hardened. Let's go check it out. I, this stuff is so cool how it works. Look at how freaking awesome this thing turned out. Pretty sure this is the world's first foam sealant tire, and there is all the material I went through. Five cans, as you can see. But this stuff, look at how hard this is. This stuff is freaking rock solid, but still has some squish, kind of like a tire in a sense. But I did not have time to get, you know, you know, balanced real well, so I'm kind of worried for going down the freeway at speeds of 75 that it might be a little janky. Y'all, I'm just playing. There's no way I'm taking that down the freeway. But I can promise you, it is now time to drop the truck, drive on it. If it cracks this, if it all just comes off once we set it on the ground, we have no idea what is going to happen, but that is why I am making this video. And of course, I had to put my spare tire on this side because the 24 by 16s wrapped in 37s are way bigger than the 22 we have all the foam sealing around and the truck would have you know set all crooked and sideways so i figured this was a much better match to set the truck down with if you guys thought that these bad boys were low profile tires and stretched take a second look 
at my foam tires because that is a whole another meaning of rubber bands. I do like the tread pattern though. I feel like these will be really good if I ever got stuck in the mud. Alrighty Hayden, hop on the forklift. We'll back it out because I gotta get that thumbnail. You already know that clickbait baby. And then it is freaking drive time. I am so excited for this. Alrighty, there goes Clifford rolling out of the shop, getting ready to test out its new shoes. Woo, woo! Truck is out of the shop. Thumbnail has been taken. I'm sweating because it is a super hot day here in Utah. Now that all that is out of the way, everything is a go. We're going to release the jack, set it down, and drive and see how it works. Before we do this, you guys, go down below, comment your answers of what you think is going to happen. Is it going to work? Or is it going to fail and just crumble apart? Who knows? Alrighty, Hayden. Do you want to slowly release the jack down? Yeah. I will film, and then we will see what happens to our foam tire. Here we go, three, two, one. All right. Kind of was as expecting. We got some squish. We are still not touching the actual lip of the rim. It squished, and you can hear it hissing, but we're not hitting the lip, which means the rim is protected, and that is good, but can it hold up while we drive it? my gosh I honestly can't believe it freaking worked like legit the rim is protected you watched the truck drive forward back up drive even forward further going faster and then backing up again faster and if you look here everything is still intact it definitely got a lot dirtier and it squished down a lot more but it's still freaking solid that I would say Worked. I, at first, I did think it was going to be a fail. Let me know down below in the comments though, if you guys were right. Did you think it was going to work or fail? I I was 50-50 more so, but I did think it was going to fail. Hayden, can you freaking, can you believe that actually worked? It's, wow, that is insane. And look, the lip, everything is still good. Dude, you know what that, that means since it's still good, right? Time for a burnout. Should we see how the foam tire holds for a burnout? I think yes. You guys, right now, scroll down, smash a like on today's video because who else has freaking done this? Go ahead. Alright. Woohoo! Oh my! Look at that! What? No freaking way! I can't believe that just happened. Let's play that clip again right now in slow motion. Well, the 
concrete got a little bit of the rim but that's okay because this rim will be used in more videos like I mentioned at the beginning of this one guys if this video gets 10,000 likes we will put a tire around this 22 by 14 go up in a crane almost 300 feet and drop it to see what happens but you guys got to smash that like button for your boy buck here's the rest of the foam insulation spray I have to say though it was a complete success as long as you're not doing burnouts don't do these tires if you plan on doing burnouts. If you guys want to see any other videos of us put stuff around this wheel, comment down below some ideas. You know, we did the spray foam, we could do shoes, hot dogs, whatever you guys want to see, wood blocks. Comment down below all your best ideas. So you know, my channel name is Bug BMX. If you guys want to see the same video done, but to a BMX bike, go add my brother's channel. It'll be right here, and the link is also in the description down below. We're going to be using one of his bikes, doing the same thing to his tires, and we're gonna to attempt to ride it around, do tricks on it. We don't know if it'll work. It might even work a little better. Still might be able to bust out some tricks, but if you guys want to see that video, go check out my brother's channel. And if you were just so curious to know what would happen if you made your own tires out of spray foam insulation stuff that's that's what will happen i mean it'll work it's cool they'll never go flat uh just don't don't do burnouts with them other than that it is going to be a wrap for today's video but you guys know before today's video ends i got to do today's instagram shout outs which go to these homies right here If you ever want a chance for your car, truck, or horse to be featured in any of my future videos from here on out, all you have to do is go follow me on Instagram, which is going to be placed right here. It is bug underscore BMX, and then send me a direct message of your vehicle. I just want to say, you guys, thank you so much for the support on the channel, whether it's buying the merch, liking or commenting, sharing the video, all of that helps. That way we can continue to do fun stuff like this on the channel. I want to make this the best channel out there on YouTube. I want to bring you guys quality content and that's what I'm going to keep on doing. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you guys want to see this wheel dropped from 300 feet with a tire around the 22 by 14, 10,000 likes, any other suggestions or ideas you guys have, let me know down below in the comment section. And if some of them get a ton of likes, we'll do that as well. But I love you all. I'm done talking. I will see you guys in the next video. I have so many great freaking bangers planned for this summer. I'm so excited to be doing this. I love what I do. You guys, make sure what you're doing is something you love. Be passionate about what you do. If not, you're just wasting your time, your life. Have fun every day. Keep smiling. I love you all. Peace. Peace.